Officials spent the day trying to put out a fire and calm, calm a firestorm ignited by conditions at the Marshall Road derelict vehicle facility and across a nearby community. The fire which broke out last night was brought under control by this morning but left a series of problems in its wake. Yes, well, the lingering concern is forcing area residents to sound the call again for the facility to be removed. For a third straight day, students were dismissed early at the nearby Anatole Rogers High School. Area residents say they've been dealing with the health hazard for even longer than that. Jimmy Swain reports. The scene was all too familiar to residents of Marshall Road as another fire at the car dump filled the air with smoke. Two fire engines and 10 firefighters were quite busy on the scene working to extinguish the blaze, which reportedly started before 6 Thursday morning. An excavator on the site made it easier for firefighters to carry out their work and cut off its spread, but the fire caused Anatole Rogers students to miss a third day of school. Now angry Misty Gardens residents Peggy and Derek Kelly say they're fed up with the car dump and it needs to be removed. It's a public safety concern for us because the smoke over a period of time was affecting the health of the residents in this area. Uh, it's also contaminating our water table and then there's also uh, a lot of traffic uh, congestion. So we are asking the member of parliament, Mr. Dorset, who is the uh, minister for environment, to come and meet with the residents of Misty Gardens. Let us know what is happening with this dump and to address this as soon as possible. Old vehicles, scrap metals, and propane tanks littered a site. So in addition to the ignition components they possess, concerned resident and biologist Derek Fox says there are other factors to be considered. I'm concerned about the air quality in this area because uh, today Anatole Rogers School had to be closed down. So it, it has a severe uh, uh, impact on the education that needs to be going on in this area. Public analyst with the Department of Environmental Health, Anthony Ryan, was also on site testing for contaminants. Ryan said the department wants to ensure residents, students and employees are safe. We started moving uh, away from an, a clean area uh, with the instrumentation and then we move into the fire. As we move into the fire from the clean area, we got little slight bumps, little slight readings, but they were all below what we call the alarm levels. Director of Fire Services Assistant Superintendent Walter Evans also talked to us on the scene. Looking at a facility such as this, where you have a, everything is just piled into one heavy, heavy lump, um, that provides a major challenge for the fire services when it comes down to having to extinguish a blaze. The blaze can easily spread to um, any portion of the, of the dump site once it is set ablaze. Misty Garden residents say ideally they want this facility removed because of the health hazards it poses. But until that happens, they say proper management would go a long way in reducing these constant fires. Jiminy Swain, ZNS Network News.